Shrewd, determined, and newly appointed are just some of the words to describe Taya Leone's character Elizabeth McCord on Madam Secretary. The CBS drama focuses on the worlds of international diplomacy, office politics, and love. Such is the case this week when after more than two months love has been in the air for speechwriter Matt Mahoney and press coordinator Daisy Grant. Here now are the ups and downs of their on-screen relationship as they see it. It looks odd. Us not dancing. We probably should. You know, to be professional. Exactly. It's nice to be able to kind of dive into what this relationship office romance is and how it kind of gets in the way of our work. I took the stairs because I thought you were taking the elevator, so we wouldn't get here at the same time. Uh, well, now we're getting here at the same time, both taking the stairs. And we both had coffee from the same place. We should just make a public announcement. Sounds good to me. So we have this, like, personal relationship and our work relationship and how we kind of work that out. Okay, can I tell you something as a friend? Well, that's a slightly complicated question. All this wheedling and whining, it's not cute. She doesn't let him off the hook, ever. Never. Well, why don't you tell me something as more than a friend? Okay. Man up, dude. One of the biggest things is like, you know, we may joke around, but he really is actually pretty amazing at his job. I agree with Matt. Keep him in the doghouse where he belongs. Thanks for that. You're welcome. And through and the all guns, the guns. Yes, your guns are nice. Um, but above all of the other things, it really is that he is smart and he is funny. These episodes are dishonest and weak. And fun, but mostly dishonest and weak. And even though he gets on her nerves all the time, correcting people's grammar and spelling is so annoying. She loves it, you know? He is a great guy, and she knows he's a great guy, but he has some issues. But um, she is in it. Am I a terrible person? You're asking the wrong guy because, um... I have seen you at your most terrible, and I am still crazy about you. Somebody like her, it makes him want to be better. I know that sounds very cliche and cheesy, but I, I feel it happening. Like, he wants her respect, and when he gets her respect, and when she looks at him in that certain way, he knows he's achieved something. That means a lot to him. Sometimes things just go wrong. It doesn't mean that it's anyone's fault. It's always somebody's fault. Somewhere along the line, a person makes a really bad decision. I'm sorry, are we still talking about the plane? Yes, yes we're, we're talking, talking about, about the plane. That's a lot of competition. Yes. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. He Which thinks that he can do my job. Yeah. I know that I can do his job. She so do we're my always job. trying she to one up each other, Sweet. you know? Yeah. And we take our little things into the office all the time. Personal lives are your own affair. They become my business when they interfere with the operation of this office. And we're always bringing yeah. our drama into the office. That's so. an interesting dynamic that we've gotten to play with. This idea of these incredibly intelligent people in such a high position right. in politics acting like little children when their feelings get hurt, you know, from each other. And, and the way that that bleeds over into their work life becomes very interesting yeah. to play. You can catch Madam Secretary Sunday nights at 8 o'clock right here on WBOC. Yeah, interesting dynamic there, those office romances. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us Monday when we hear an incredible story of survival. How one woman already won her fight against one form of cancer and how she's taking what she learned in the past to fight breast cancer now. You can help with the fight against crime here on Delmarva Monday. We get a whole new batch of most wanted. And if you recognize someone, it could mean cash in your pocket. Do you feel like you're spending way too much cash on your car? Angie Hicks of Angie's List can help. Monday, she tells us how to take care of the tire troubles without spending an arm and a leg. Plus, are you spending an arm and a leg on gas? We're also going to hear about the stabilizing gas prices, what it means for the economy, and what you can expect to see at the pump this summer. Now, don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, just visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now, don't go anywhere. WBOC News at 6 starts in just a moment. But first, the Dirt Road Outlaws.
said, Grandpa, what's this picture here? It's all black and white. And it ain't real clear as I had you there. He said, yeah, I was 11. But times are tough back in 35. That's me and Uncle Joe just trying to survive a cotton farm and a Great Depression. Uh, if it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other Should have seen it in color All oh, in the swan here is taking overseas In the middle of hell, 1943 In the wintertime, can almost see my breath Oh, that was my tail gunner, old Johnny McGee he was a high school teacher for New Orleans And had my back right through the day we left But if it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other Should have seen it in color Pictures are worth a thousand words, but you can't see what those shades of gray keep covered. Should have seen it in color. This one is my favorite one. This is me and Grandma in the summer sun, all dressed up the day we said our vows. Can't tell it here, but it was hot that June, and that rose was red, and her eyes were blue. And just look at that smile, all oh, I was so proud. That's the story of my life Right there in black and white And if it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color A picture's worth a thousand but those shades of gray keep covered Should have seen it in color A picture's worth a thousand words But you can't see what those shades of gray keep covered You should have seen it in color